What's up, folks? All right. So last time I showed you um, this little pulse uh, maker thing. I went this, this, uh, this, this, and then just this. And that, you know, that does what it's supposed to do. It sends a pulse when it turns on. But I wanted a pulse when it turns off. And so the way you can do that is by making this one delayed instead of the uh, just normal signal. So, set that to 4. And bring this out one more. And I think, yeah. You can see now that it, instead of pulsing when it turns on, it now pulses when it turns off. Now these are compact and everything, but sometimes you may want to go straight, strictly vertical. You may not want to have the uh, thing on the ground. And so I came up with these two designs. This one pulses when this one pulses on on, and this one pulses on off. I'm gonna show you how to build them real quick. I actually dreamt of this one, and the other one came across it. Okay. So the idea is the idea for a pulse is that you have one signal turn on, and one signal turn off, and you have a delay between the two. And that creates the pulse, because let's say when this one turns off, it takes a little bit for this one to turn on, and that creates a little pulse. So that is the basis for these two little designs. So if you want to make the one that makes it pulse when you turn it off, place your, place a block, a lever, a redstone torch, and a block of that. Place a repeater at uh, one from the end, place a block above the repeater, place a block next to the repeater, and then bring some redstone wiring down. And that's it. <laughs> It'll pulse when you turn it on. So what happens is, when you turn this one on, this turns off, but it takes a little bit for this one to turn back on, and so that you can see that it creates that little pulse. See? Now, if you want to grab uh, a signal, you grab it from anywhere that there's a bit of redstone. So you can put in a block here, and put that there, and that'll give you... Oh, no, sorry. You can either grab uh, this redstone signal if you want it permanently on, and you want it to toggle off every now and then. So if you want to... If you want it to go from always on and then a quick pulse off and then back on, then you should just grab the signal from any one of these redstones. If you want it to be always off and toggle on, you know, pulse on, then you can either grab it from this end or from this end. Neither of those two ends will let you uh, hook up an inverter that will do the toggling. So, okay, that's that one. And now, the other one, the one that you want to toggle off, which might be a little bit more useful. It's a little, it looks a little different, but uh, I try to make it similar, but so it's kind of the same shape. So, let's build it uh, over here. Uh, block. Lever. Mm -hmm. Right, right, block, lever, redstone, and then a repeater. And this one's the one that's going to be set up for. Then a block. Uh, then block over the redstone. A block there. A redstone torch here. A block here. It takes one more repeater. So a repeater, redstone, redstone. And there you go. And in this case, this will be your output. And you can see, let's see if I when it turns off, it gives a quick little pulse. So what happens here is, uh, this powers this redstone repeater, which powers this, which turns this on and off, which sends power to this. Simultaneously, when you flick this on, it sends power to this redstone, which powers it on very quickly. So when you power this off, this goes off first, giving it a... I can, yeah. Let's see if I can let's, let's tell you what's happening. All right. This one goes off first, or which one? Which one goes off first? Yeah, the top one goes off first, giving the torch a chance to light this back up, and then this one turns off, and then it's all happy. So yeah, this one turns, this one pulses when you turn it on. Or that, this one pulses when you turn it off, and this one pulses when you turn it on. And so those are very two two little nice pulse. Uh, 
I'm still working on the, uh, I'm still working on the little gizmo over here. I've gotten, I've seen some of your videos. I've, I've, I've looked at the videos you guys have sent me, and I, I like them, but they're very, very big. So the, the point is I'm trying to get this to be as compact as I possibly can. That's my idea. So right now, uh, this is one of the designs I'm working with. The only issue with this is I haven't really quite figured out how to hook up the lever at the top. I kind of have the lever at the bottom, so a little bit of a snafu on my part, but that's okay. Uh, this is not that hard to build, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. It does uh, almost do what it's supposed to do. I messed with some wiring, so it's kind of not quite all the way there yet. Let's see, let's see if I can make this work. The basic idea is that I have this pulse here, and this one turns. One of, the, one of these is a pulse. Somewhere, one, somewhere in here, there's a pulse. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. At the moment, it's it's a bit inverted, I think. Yeah. Well, anyways. I want to show you guys these these two things, and that's it for the video. I will... That's a quick video, not a whole lot. Uh, I might attach to the end of this video a uh, work in progress model of this. I don't know yet. So if I don't, I'll see you guys next time. But if there's more to this video, hey, keep watching. Peace. What's up, folks? Alright, so extending the video. Got to work. And... Sweet. Kind of complicated. Not too too hard to get get going but yeah it's a, it takes a little bit so let's build another one sort of side by side of this one so I can look at this one for reference and I'll try to build it exactly as I can so let's go ahead and do this all right so start off with a uh, block a lever a torch like over here dot block torch block torch Block, torch, block, torch. And also, we're going to build this a little bit off the ground. It kind of just has to be like that. Because on this one, I actually dug it down a little bit. One, two, three, sticky pistons, repeater, and redstone. There goes one. Block, oops, block, block, repeater, and a redstone. There goes the other one. And block, block. Peter and a redstone. But am all three are up, all three are down. Cool. Next bit is attaching a uh, this right here. This little area is one of the pulsers. So we'll go ahead and attach it to a side. On that one, I did it behind the, this one, so I'll do it here too. So take a repeater, boom, and let's use a different color. I'm taking a cue from Seth Bling here. Orange. So repeater. Uh, one more repeater. Set this one to two clicks. Torch. Block. 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 And then dust, dust, dust. And we will grab the power, as you can see over there. Put one more here, and we'll grab the power from here. And then put a torch. And this will be our power. So, you can see that when I flick it on, it turns. It sends a pulse, and when this flicks on, these go up. These go down, so that's good. And now we begin the amazing, amazing time of connecting them all together. So, good color. Boom, and boom. Similar to over here. And just like over here, we're going to have redstone, redstone, repeater, and then two blocks. So, let's do redstone, and redstone, right, let's see. Yep. And doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so far so good. Just making sure. Yeah, okay. Repeater. Set to full. And two blocks. Like so. And then go over here. And then one that and that. Redstone, 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 redstone. And that should. Bring that one down. Sweet. 
So set them all up, and let's say, let's move a bit of glowstone. We'll have that be our test. So the next bit, as in here, so after you move this one down, that pulls this one down, you then want to pull this one down. And so that's what the repeated redstone there is for. So let's get sign. Up, up, a little bit of redstone there. There you go. Bring this down a little bit more. Redstone and a repeater. One, two. And so now we hit this. Perfect. Similar to over here. Ta da! Now over here, the next one I also have wired to there, which would be this one. So let's go ahead and get uh, yellow. Place a block there. Place a block here. One, two. So we have to compensate for this redstone repeater. We have to make sure that it's after that one. So one, two, and then another one, two, and then bring this out. And that should make the next thing go down. So do, 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 do. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little bit of a hiccup there. Oh, let's try it. Actually, I think I may have... Ah, yeah, those are at full right. Do, 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 do. There it is. Okay. Uh, but, before that happens... Those are at full, which is all nice and dandy. Before that happens, though, we do have to uh, go ahead and grab the... The uh, piston up here, otherwise it's going to get left behind. So before we do this, that's going to be there eventually. We need to first grab this one. So the last one to go off was this one, right? Okay. So we need to power this one. Let's go ahead and I think I haven't now used purple green. Green's good. We'll power this block here somehow. I'm not sure. I'm not. I haven't quite figured out how yet. So, we want it to be... This sends one, right? And then down here is two. So a whole two. I believe three is going to be the key here. So, let's do... Let's do one, two. Uh, actually, let's see. I think we'll do this, right? So we'll take that, we'll do that, and we'll see how this works out. Up, 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 up. That worked out. Sweet. So, two, two, and then full. That works out. And then one time, one more time, we, we do have to power this last one. And this is going to be the one that is a little interesting, because we don't want to power something else again. Uh, so a good way to do this would be just to have something go back and power this, because that will power that. So let's go ahead and jack a little bit of energy from somewhere. Uh, the last one to go off is this one. So then let's go ahead and... I'm running out of pink. We will bump some power from this block here. So do that. And bring it up. Bring it down a little bit. Redstone, repeater, and two, and that should do it. Up, 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 up. Do, 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 do. Ooh, so close. Up, 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 up. A little more delay it needs, so maybe four? It's almost there. There you go. And that, that's, it looks a little, actually, it does look a little bit different from the other one. But that, my friends, is the triple uh, piston extender. Now, if you wanted to add another one, it would be a lot more complicated. But I think triple is the only one you'll ever really need, simply because triple will let you have an, a two-space hole. So let me demonstrate that for you. Let's just make a big area of glass stone. Glass stone, glass stone. Pop them all up. Up, 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 up. Assume that your floor is here. And you can see that this is actually a uh, two-spaced gap. Uh, this 
little this this repeater. There's no way of making that show up, sadly. So it's a little bit of a snafu in the design. But hey, you know, not everything can be hidden. This back wall is hidden, and so the only thing you'll see is that one repeater. So now, what I want to do, what we need to do, is get uh, this lever to happen up here. And since you know you're going to be coming out here, basically, we can go ahead and just let's let's say you know come out uh, one, two, let's say three from the little mechanism. And then, you know, you can start your little house or whatever it is you want to start. But just a nice little three wall so that we can do some, do some quick stuff to go ahead and hide this. So imagine you just dug that area out. All right. So none's the wiser. Okay, so from back here, we need to power this block. And that's going to stay up. That's okay. That's whatever. So, let's see. Uh, let's. I would, I would recommend, since we're going to be here, I want to be able to actually hit the lever again on my way back up. So let's go ahead and we'll make this one out of nether brick. For... Alright, lever there. Melt some power to this one. I want to try and not uh, see that. No, that's going to show up a little bit, though. It's going to show up a little bit. What? Yeah, it will. Because this is, yeah, it will show up. Alright, let's try another location. Where can we put a lever that is easily hideable? Uh, let's get the glowstone back. Oop, 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 oop. This, is the, this is the one part I didn't plan out beforehand. I think this corner might. We might be able to work something. We might be able to something with this corner. So, alright, lever there. It's going to send power to this. Let's go ahead and drag... That's not lit up right. Yeah, okay, that works. Let's go ahead and drag this out. Not the video, but the uh, mechanism. Ah ha ha! Okay. So... Let's just, we're going to want to power that block over there, so let's go ahead and bring this out a little bit. There we go. I'll do it. I'll do. I'll do. Right. Come underneath. Now, I know this is a lot easier to do with creative because you know I'm flying around, but uh, it's not. I don't. I don't believe it's that you know extremely resource intensive. So I think I, I do honestly think it's completely you know manageable. I don't think this one no, that will totally interfere. So let's move this out a little bit. It, it's it's not terribly resource intensive. It's a few rest and repeaters. It's only three sticky pistons. So slime balls. The rare, the rare stuff isn't hard, isn't, isn't, isn't in use a lot. Alright, move this down, 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 down. We have to power this thing, so let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully it doesn't break it completely. Alright, so we flick this. It comes down. And then we come up, and there we go. Haha, <laughs> it works. So, it'll bring you down all the way, and then you can have your little home, or whatever. It doesn't matter. And then we want to get back up. You jump up, and hit the lever. And it brings you up. Ah, <sighs> that was a... Yeah, so. Alright, folks. Hope that helps. I don't know if it helps, but I'm glad I got this done. It's cool. It's, it's not terribly big. It's not the biggest thing in the world. I, I, I think it's manageable. It's enough resources. I uh, hope you like this little elevator, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.